uh, end of part one, and then we'll be starting up uh, part two in a uh, Well, I'm glad you made it to uh, part two. <laughs> Welcome again. Uh, what I now want to talk about is what's going on in the core of the star. Up to this point, the star is a big ball of gas. You understand uh, why the pressure and temperature is high in the center of the star. You understand some of the zones of the star. Now, let's really get into what is causing a star to glow. And it uh, became obvious in the 1930s, what was going on at, with the advent of nuclear energy. So what we're really talking about is inside the core of, the, of a star is a nuclear reaction is going on. Most stars, vast majority, are burning hydrogen, fusing hydrogen. Uh, I'm going to go through this diagram in some detail so you'll understand what is the proton to proton chain reaction and that's what is um, responsible for for life on earth sunlight everything follows that it starts with two protons colliding with each other now remember star center is hot it's about 15 10 to 15 million degrees in the core and that's sufficiently hot so that the particles have enough kinetic energy that they can break um, the nuclear boundary that's hitting them once they break that boundary, they can fuse together and go into a lower nuclear energy state. And this is what happens. So these protons come together and voila, what happens is the two protons now fuse and they form a proton and a neutron. In order to conserve charge, a positron is emitted. That's that little E plus. And uh, a neutrino is also admitted. That's to also conserve some of the um, energy and uh, momentum in the system. What happens is that uh, a gamma ray is produced because there's lots of electrons and they come together. Next is that um, proton neutron, which is really called deuterium, um, goes around and it actually collides with a... Um, another uh, proton. And what we get is uh, helium-3. And helium-3, what will be emitted from that is another gamma ray to conserve energy. Eventually what happens is helium-3 collides with another helium-3 and it forms a big mushy cluster of four protons, uh, two neutrons, all going on and you know all of this is happening in fractions of a of a microsecond that this is going on it's uh, really really fast stuff but eventually uh, that's unstable and the what happens is that this cluster forms a helium atom it's two protons and two neutrons and two protons are ejected that's basically the process the energy is that's heating up the star is really in the form of those gamma rays. The neutrino itself escapes the sun, does not leave any, any uh, energy signature, not insignificant. But those gamma rays are what go through, they eventually propagate the radiative zone, and eventually, after a million years or so, make their way up into the convective zone, and then they become the sunlight we see. So the net reaction uh, in the sun is we have six protons, in some manner or other, they come together, and the byproducts are a helium nucleus, gamma rays. Those rays, those photons, are the energy transporters that eventually, uh, as they lose energy, they uh, turn into the visible light that we, um, we see. There's some protons that are left, and of course, those protons themselves will react again. Eventually, when there's no more protons left, the reaction will stop. The star will become unstable. But until that time, a star is extremely stable. It is gradually getting hotter because, as you can imagine, there's less particles in the core, and therefore there's going to be the pressure on top is going to push harder, and the core is going to get slightly higher. In fact, what's going on is uh, what you might call a stellar tug of war. The nuclear core is, is expanding due to these uh, reactions, which is generating heat. 
And what contains it is the offer layers. And we talked about the layers and the pressure layers back in the last uh, video. Well, those layers act as a bottle in a sense, and they contain that core to a central region. That's the basic concept. So uh, a star, even though there's a tremendous violent reaction going on, tremendous amount of energy, it's the same process that goes on in the um, a fusion hydrogen bomb, the most destructive weapon man, man has ever created. This is what's going on. Quickly, let me summarize. Um, you understand stars come together, gravitational energy is converted into kinetic energy, in turn is converted into heat. As stars grow over time, the pressure in the core gets higher and higher, and the temperature gets higher and higher. Eventually it gets hot enough to ignite. It ignites a nuclear reaction, the reaction that I just described in some detail. That goes on, it forms a nice stable equilibrium, and we get what is called a main sequence star. The sun right now is going through that process. It's a main sequence star. It'll continue to burn like that for another um, 4 billion years. That's it for now, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and um, I'll be talking to you all soon. Thank you very much. Goodbye.